We could say that a photon is the smallest piece of light, or a packet of energy. We can also think of a photon as an oscillation or vibration. In our quest to understand what a photon is, it is best to look at what a photon can actually do, and how it interacts with matter. The most amazing thing that a photon can actually do, and this is one of the most incredible things in the whole universe. A photon, which is a piece of energy, that has no mass, can somehow convert itself into two particles that have mass. If the conditions are just right, when a photon impacts with matter, it can turn itself into two particles, an electron can be formed and a positron, that is the antiparticle of the electron. The difference between the two being that the electron has negative charge and the positron has positive charge. When the electron meets up with a positron, they merge together and annihilate each other, and they will turn themselves back into a photon of energy. This is what we call pair production, and this process is happening continuously all around us with the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy. Mainstream physics has no understanding of how a photon can do this, or what the process represents. But in these videos I explain the universe as an emergent continuum, based on a process of continuous energy exchange, with a probabilistic future unfolding photon by photon relative to the wavelength of the light and the atoms of the periodic table. The energy and momentum of a photon depends only on its frequency that has an inverse relationship to its wavelength. This can be seen in the equation for photon energy, with energy equals hf, with the h standing for the Planck constant, and the f representing frequency. This tells us what part of the electromagnetic spectrum it comes from, and therefore what type of light it is. In the visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum of light, it tells us the color. The energy of a photon is the Planck constant times the color. One of the prime examples of this process is photon energy cascading down from the sun, forming the ever-changing world of nature with the changing colors of the seasons. In these videos I say that we see and feel this process as the passage of time. And this seems more logical when you think that photons form the ever-changing colors of nature. Photons also have other properties that support this idea. Whenever the bonds between the atoms form and break, there is an exchange of photon energy with the movement of charge. Therefore, it is not just the colors of nature that are based on this exchange of photon energy, but the ever-changing structure of nature itself. At the most fundamental level, the dynamics of cell life is based on this process, with the organization of positive and negative charge relative to the membrane of each living cell. Photons have zero rest mass with their energy being proportional to their momentum, with an inability to experience time or space. There is also no concept of time at all in the subatomic world, within the atoms. All we have in the nucleus of an atom is the distribution of charge into three parts, representing three-dimensional space. This is logical and is what you would expect. If the continuum of time is formed by light waves interacting with the electron probability cloud that surrounds the atom, in this theory the atoms are standing waves in time, with the passage of time unfolding photon by photon with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. 
Light is a wave and only has particle characteristics when it interacts with the electron probability cloud that surrounds the nucleus of an atom. The wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. In such a theory, the photon is the evolutionary driving force of everything. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light waves, we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves continuously, forming rainbows of colour within a great dance of creation. Everyone sees their own rainbow in just three dimensions, relative to the angle they are looking at it. Two people in different positions will see the same rainbow in different positions of the sky at the same time. This could just be a trick of the light, or it could represent something fundamental in the dynamics of light and time. You might be thinking that this is just because all the angles are changing and that everything is relative and you will be right, but the wavelengths, the actual colours of the light, are moving in unison because light is a universal constant, independent of the motion of the source and the observer. In a new theory called quantum atom theory, the speed of light is a universal constant because each new photon oscillation or particle of light is also a new moment in time that forms a curvature of space-time. The continuous momentum of light forms what we see and feel as the flow of time. This is a totally interactive process because the waves of light will only collapse into photons when they come into contact with the atoms of an object. Therefore the atoms of the hand and eye will collapse the waves of light just like any other object. In this theory it is not just beauty that is in the eye of the beholder but creation itself. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.